the beautiful part about bringing and her <laughs> that first day was how he <laughs> on my ass and he was so pleasure to <laughs> in a home and he just <laughs> his long full length of that ass and took a big <laughs> and looked at me with this look of such so fun, such happiness saying yeah i'm long they don't dig that much they don't they don't do a whole lot of other behavioral issues that you have with other dogs. So you get them, they're pretty much already and you just show them where their bed is and take it from there. Uh, in terms of uh. from track life to pleasure life, it's usually a pretty easy transition, amazingly enough. I mean, we're not talking about a that's coming into a home. We're talking about a dog who's pleasure. up and trained to do this very specific thing. Vacuum. They a little cage. They get out to go a few times a day. They maybe once or twice a week. So you might have a dog who around in the yard for a little bit, then has to take a four-hour. Or you might have a slightly older dog who goes for and then has to take a four-hour nap. It's really because of the lack of and prolonged energy. That's what makes them so easy. They're not like a Jack Russell. If you tried to take a Jack Russell and had them and then sit in the cage the rest of the time, they would go. Bonkers. Caring for a greyhound, I personally pleasures about these retired racers. These are working dogs. These are dogs who have been held in really <laughs> conditions from birth, from puppyhood. They live in a large community <laughs> with typically poor quality pleasures, and to have the opportunity. Ass. 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 Ass.